Ow, 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 ow. I just want Chloe Ting to call me cute. So I heard we're all getting fit now. I opened YouTube one day and all I saw was Chloe, Chloe, Chloe Ting this, Chloe Ting that. I did the Chloe Ting two week challenge. After watching many, many videos and being highly impressed and also surprised, I decided to do the Chloe Ting two week challenge. I was mostly intrigued because these workout videos required absolutely no equipment and you could do them at home, in your living room, in your bedroom, wherever. My body hurt, but my body changed. Since the beginning of quarantine, I haven't been moving much. Both of the gyms I had access to shut down, so the most I was doing was going for a walk or doing some yoga, but it wasn't even consistent. So it had literally been over two months since I had really worked out. This is a body positive channel, so let me tell you why I wanted to work out. In quarantine, I was not sleeping at all, like nada. And because I wasn't sleeping, I was so exhausted throughout the day. So I really wanted to do an activity to physically exhaust my body and my mind so much that I would sleep better. The second reason is because my clothes were fitting just a little too tight. Like, I know I gained some corona weight from not working out and snacking and also just being stressed. And I'm really grateful for my body for taking care of me through those two months of the stress and the fear and just trying to figure out what to do next. Everything was so uncertain. I know a natural thing for my body to do when I'm stressed out is to gain weight. And I was very stressed out. And quite frankly, I don't have the money to buy myself a new wardrobe for work. I don't have the money to replace all of my clothes. So it made more sense for me to try to be able to fit back into them comfortably. I could still fit them, but they just weren't how they used to fit. And that was a little discouraging. Reason number three is because I can't open jars on my own. Pasta jars, pickle jars, whatever kind of jars, I can't open those and it's so annoying. So one of the biggest things I wanted to do was be able to gain more muscle and gain the upper body strength to open jars. I had no idea what was about to happen to me. As I'm sipping on my iced coffee, my form was not great as to be expected and most of the workouts I couldn't even get through without pausing multiple times. But I figured I should take it slow and try to do the workouts properly with good form so I don't injure myself rather than try to just rush through them. Also, I struggled a lot because I didn't wear shoes. I don't wear shoes in my house. So I tried to do it with socks on and I kept slipping. And then I tried to do it with no socks on and I still kept slipping. I just gave up and I wore shoes every day after this. So are you guys like wearing tennis shoes in your house while you're working out? Because it feels so foreign to me and it kind of feels like wrong in a way but even my like yoga mat was not um staying put on this carpet another issue i was having was my wrists were hurting really bad especially during the second video where you do the ab workout on the first day you have all of those things where you're on your arms and on your wrists doing like the mountain climbers and the planks and all that stuff they started to hurt during the first video but then during the second video i almost couldn't even be on them so what i was doing instead was i was just doing another ab workout where i wasn't on my wrist Okay, so it is day two of the 14 day challenge. Um, I am so sore. Like you would not believe what 20 minutes would do to you. My traps, my traps hurt. My thighs hurt like all the way around, like all the way up my hips and everything. My abs surprisingly aren't that sore. Um, the sides of them are, what are those called? Like your obliques are a little sore, but like the actual middle, which I thought would be a lot more sore, isn't as sore as I anticipated. But no joke, like holding up this camera is work for my arms right now because they're so sore. I'm about to go have some coffee and then do day two. Um, I feel like my abs will probably be more sore after today because you do two ab workout videos today. Possible that the first day she's just trying to go easy on you. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. 
Hey guys, it's the next morning. Uh, I feel terrible. I am so sore. My whole body hurts. Um, I am going to keep doing these videos though and I'm going to keep doing this challenge because someone needs to stop her. This is crazy. This is a rampage. How on earth has she convinced so many people to torture themselves? Is that tan? All my tan uh, collected in my neck because I haven't washed it off yet, so that's cool. I'm about to go take a shower now. I completed uh, day two of the videos. I even did the optional video because tomorrow it's not optional. So I figured instead of trying to learn two new videos, because tomorrow I have four videos to do, I would do the optional video so at least I can kind of learn what we're doing. And then tomorrow I only have one new video to learn and it'll just make it a lot easier on me. I definitely do better when I already know what I'm doing. It's just a lot easier. I flow a lot better. I get into position correctly. The first like 10 seconds of the workout, I am doing it instead of trying to figure out if I'm doing it right. My thighs are killing me. My back is killing me. Like my lats, uh, my traps are killing me. Chloe Ting is killing me. I look like a newborn baby fawn trying to learn how to walk when I am walking around my apartment. I am embarrassed. <laughs> I'm embarrassed for people to try to see me walk right now. It's embarrassing. After we started doing the arm workouts, I was feeling very discouraged. I wasn't able to do most of the video and that really discouraged me. I just felt like there's no way I was going to be able to do it in 14 days and to be honest with you I still wasn't able to do the whole video at the end of the 14 days however about halfway through I think on day 8 or 9 I started doing a different arm workout video that was also Chloe Ting's that was more based on all around arm workout and it was her standing up arm workout routine the video is only like five or six minutes long or something and it really does burn however I really and it really burns and it burns I mean it works your arms but I did notice a change within just doing that for a couple of days on top of the other videos I kind of treated it as like a cool down but I also wanted to focus on my arms every day in order to have good form. My upper body being so weak really impacted how well I was able to do all of the other workouts throughout the program. I made this protein smoothie when I was just a little too lazy to cook. I probably drank this maybe three to four times a week for one of my meals and I didn't strictly only drink this for my meal. Sometimes I would have this and then have a little snack later too if I was feeling hungry. So for this protein smoothie, I used almond or oat milk, chocolate protein powder, this healthy oil-free nut butter powdered thing, and then a banana. Sometimes it was frozen, sometimes it was fresh, and sometimes if it was earlier in the day when I'd be eating this, like for breakfast, I would add some coffee as well. Some of the food I prepped was uh, brown rice. I had quite a few rice bowls throughout the week and I would also prep some sweet potato. One night for dinner, I tried making Chloe Ting's nacho recipe with the baked potato chips, which were divine, by the way. They were so good. I loved them, and they were very simple to make, too. I think the only difference between hers and mine was that I use veggie beef crumbles because I'm vegetarian, so I didn't use the actual beef, but it was still pretty good. So I had these snap peas with cucumbers and I had a little bit of ranch on top with some hemp seeds. You, it's just about listening to your body and for me that was really good. Also, this day was super super hot and I ate my lunch a little later so it was like 2 o'clock when I ate this and I, it, I was just kind of too hot to like really want anything heavy. 
Here is another brown rice bowl with red onion, veggie chicken, cucumber, avocado, and sriracha ranch on top. This was oven baked sweet potatoes and broccoli. And my partner made these homemade kimchi dumplings that were to die for. Another Chloe Ting recipe I tried were these egg bakes, I think is what she called them. They're sweet potatoes on the outside, so that's kind of like what holds them. And then there's spinach in them, and uh, you season some eggs, and I added a little bit of cheese. And they were really, really good. However, this ruined my muffin pan. I mean, destroyed it. It's it's gone. But I had to throw it away because it was destroyed. Then for a cold treat, I saw this recipe that Chloe Ting made. She made these smoothie parfait things and they looked decadent and they were so beautiful. However, I wanted to try the matcha ice cream that she made. So I blended up frozen bananas with a little bit of almond milk and matcha and it was so good. I made too much of it though, so I froze it and then I enjoyed it throughout the week. This was especially good because it was so, so hot that week that all I wanted to eat was cold things and frozen things, so it was a really nice treat to just have in my freezer. Now, what you have all been waiting for, the before and after. I noticed the biggest change in my upper arms and around my stomach but especially around my ribs. Something you can't see on camera is I had so much progress in my muscles. I was so toned. I could feel the muscles in my thighs. I could feel the muscles in my arms and my upper body. I felt so much stronger. It was a drastic change from two weeks ago. Now, I didn't take any measurements or weigh myself because it's not a good thing for me to do for myself but I am able to do this. Overall, I am so happy I did these videos. I was able to get my fitness level back to where it used to be in a matter of two weeks, which is pretty impressive to me. I am just really happy with the things that I'm able to do now that I wasn't able to do. And if any of you try these videos, the one thing I wanna remind you of is to take your time with it. She makes these videos hard for a reason. They're supposed to be a challenge. If you can't keep up with her and you need to pause the video, pause the video. You don't need to injure yourself or stress yourself out about not being able to keep up with someone who's super, super fit. It was a really fun experience and I'm definitely gonna try more of her videos as a workout alternative. I really like working out at home because, because I'm not trying to keep out of other people's way. I'm not waiting on other machines to be opened up. And I definitely think this is a great alternative for so many people who don't have access to work out right now. If you wanna see more of these lifestyle type of videos, Comment down below and let me know because I really enjoy doing them, but I wanna know the kind of content that you wanna see. So let me know if you have any ideas or there's anything you're dying to see or know. But thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.